All right, uh, here I am. So I'm in the 2021 Tundra, and Luis, I really appreciate you allowing me to take your truck for a drive. Uh, it helps uh, people understand kind of some comparisons between the two. So thanks again for that. Uh, but anyway, I'm just pulled out of the dealership there, just headed down the street. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that the throttle response on the 21 seems a little quicker. And I know that that has something to do with the, the turbo spooling up. Um, but the funny thing is that once you get past that initial, uh, uh, just barely crack the throttle, um, you have quite a bit more acceleration from the 2022 model with the V6 twin turbo. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head up. I'm gonna take the same route that I took in my truck, and then I uh, got some railroad tracks coming up here. The one thing that I do notice right offhand is uh, there's actually a lot more road noise, and I'm in just in town. I'm not even on the highway, uh, but there is more road noise and noise from the outside that I'm picking up. Um, that like I said, I didn't didn't have in the other or didn't have in the 2022 model. So. Um, going to go up here a little bit further and then we're going to hit the railroad tracks just to feel the differences there. The steering feels totally different. Now I know on the 2022 model uh, they did go to the electronic assist uh, rack and pinion steering and uh, so it does feel totally different. I'll be anxious to get out on the highway and see what what type of a difference it actually feels like. Um, and I mentioned to you in earlier videos that you know I've been driving Tacomas, and so it was a huge difference to go from the Tacoma to the the Tundra. Uh, and one of the things I noted right away is that how much of a difference there actually was in the input that you have when you're driving. Um, the Tundra seems to drive so straight and takes very little input just to driving down the freeway. Um, ride quality, I would say that one thing is different. Now, the I do know that the 2022 Tundra has uh, the hydraulic struts. I'm not struts, but um, mounts, cab mounts is what I was trying to say. And so it isolates a lot of the vibrations from the road. And that's one thing I feel like in the 2021 model that you do feel that right away. Um, the actual bump itself, uh, and one of the things I kind of noted early on is that with the 2022 model um, it has this like firm feeling underneath so just going over little imperfections in the road you really don't feel anything uh, but when you hit a hard bump you do feel it it is firmer I think than what the 2021 model would be um, so when do you feel that well on those railroad tracks you know there's one area that you might feel it uh, or you like say if there's a like a pothole or something that you hit in the road you're gonna feel that as well uh, and that's one area that the 2021 model is a little bit more comfortable um, but just for just just normal driving like I said the 2022 model soaks up a lot more of the imperfections in the road all right I am uh, I'm gonna go around these corners up here just to see how much body roll we get from the 21 model versus the 2022. So that's one thing right away. I notice that you do get a lot more body roll in the 21 model than what you do the 2022. Um, I'm sure that has a lot to do with the frame. You know, as mentioned before, they have gone to that uh, completely boxed frame in the 2022 model where you have the fully boxed in the front and then you have the channel type frame in the back of the 21 model and so that that's a huge difference there It does sound good. I won't. Uh, you can't take that away from it. However, like I said, acceleration. I feel like the the V6 twin turbo accelerates a lot quicker than what the V8 does. Now, as far as horsepower goes, you're at 380 horsepower with 401 foot-pound torque. 401 feet of torque on the 2021 model we're on the 2022 model 
you're at 389 horsepower with 479 foot-pounds of torque. So you can definitely feel that torque. Um, it comes on a lot quicker. And I know that with a naturally aspirated engine, it takes a little while before it uh, opens up that second chamber to, to get that additional airflow in there. Where uh, with the twin turbo, obviously you're forcing that air in there and it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot quicker. So, you know, that's just some distinct differences. I do apologize, having a little hard time talking today. Um, but yeah, those are some things that are very different. The other thing too, is that on the, your, uh, when you first get into the 2022 model, you look out there in the hood, it goes straight out further, uh, where the 2021 model has a tendency to kind of slope down. So you probably have a little better visibility on the 2021 model. Um, and the other thing too, is that, the, flip this back around, um, the 2022 model, you have a, a narrower windshield in the front. And you notice that right away uh, when you sit in the vehicle. But the one thing that I will say is that um, you have better visibility through the side view windows. And I know that has something to do with where the A pillars are at. Um, and so, you know, visibility, honestly, I think is better in the, the 2022 model than it is in the 21. And then uh, your blind spots are a little bit different as far as the location of them as well. So, uh, so anyway, hopefully uh, this helps a little bit. Hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to to bash the 2021 model at all. I'm just giving you guys just just uh, honest feedback on both vehicles. Um, so like I said, you know, I think that the 2022 model is uh, smoother in ride. Um, it accelerates quicker. Um, the seats are a little firmer in the 2022 model, so I give the nod to the 2021. Um, but I think that most of the features in that 2022 model are a definite upgrade uh, as far as the two trucks go. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything else I can help assist with, Please don't hesitate to uh, put a comment in there. Please take the time to like and subscribe, and uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm just getting back from my drive here, and one of the things I wanted to point out is the visibility that you actually have in this truck versus the 2021 model. Um, as you can see there, and I intentionally did not park in the parking space just to leave enough room between the two trucks. Uh, but anyway, now your rear cross traffic alert just kicked in there. You saw him walk by, but it picked that up. Um, but you know the way the way that you can see on the screen, I'm gonna, you got your dynamic lines as I mentioned before. But then you can see where you're at within the parking space and how much space you have behind the vehicle, and of course your backup camera. And so just the backup camera part alone is actually bigger than the screen in the 2021 model. And then of course you do pick up the uh, you know the, the side view mirrors there um, I've checked it before and so this camera comes on once you get down to five miles per hour it will actually pop back up on the screen and of course it gives you a front view rather than the rear view view the rear view um, but you can see you know how close you are to objects but you can see vehicles in front of you and what have you uh, but like I said less than five miles per hour that camera will automatically come on there is an auto setting which is right there and of course you can turn that feature off if you don't want it to come on all the time so anyway um, finish with my drive on this one uh, I'm gonna jump in the other one and take it for the same same loop <laughs> 